All right. Let's start. The overall energy, what's going on in this situation right now is the two of pentacles in reverse with the king of cups in reverse here. Now, this is telling me I feel that someone was dropped or someone was let go of because there was one person here who was emotionally very, very manipulative, emotionally closed off, not expressing themselves emotionally, or there could just be someone who had a lot of trust issues, okay? So, yeah, one, I felt like there was a very one-sided situation here, okay? Maybe you gave a lot to this person, you expressed your, yourself to this person, but this was someone who just refused to show the emotional side, okay? They just, they just kept suppressing their emotions. They didn't show you how they really felt, okay? And you were fed up of this person not opening up to you, all right? And you finally dropped this person, okay? You were in two minds all this while, okay? Weighing, weighing out the pros and cons, but finally you let this person go, okay? It could have been a very difficult decision because you were not sure of what you want to do, but you finally let them go, okay? So, yeah. Now, this is the side I'm talking about, okay? We'll see. Now, what's on your... Let's see, okay? Now, we're going to start with... Um, um, what, sorry, so we're going to start with how you see yourself in this connection, okay, so now how you see yourself is with the three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles out here, okay, I feel you're very single, very independent, working on yourself, very, very focused on your goals, money, your uh, finances, etc. But you're uh, choosing to be single right now, okay? For the moment, I feel you're choosing to be okay on your own, all right? And with the Three of Pentacles here, I feel you want to work towards this person. You want to work towards this partnership, okay? You want to rebuild, okay? You want to make a foundation with this person here. But I think you're forced, uh, you're making a very... Um, uh, how do I say you're making a decision of staying single and working on yourself okay is what I'm getting here with the three of pentacles you could be collaborating trying to increase your business etc etc but because there's so much of pentacles here I feel that you're very focused on something which has a lot of stability and security but for right now you're being okay on your own okay you're quite focused on yourself what how this person sees themselves in the connection is the nine of cups in reverse with a wheel of fortune here i feel that this person is emotionally very very drained you could have literally been like a wish come true for this person okay this person is emotionally very very dependent on you okay there's a lot of love that this person has for you but somewhere somehow things went upside down okay and their emotional needs were not met their desires weren't met okay and a wish didn't come true okay and with the wheel of fortune here, i feel that um they're waiting for a turning point Okay, in their life or they're just with the wheel of fortune, I feel they're leaving things to destiny. Okay, they feel that if things are fated, things will be okay between you guys. Okay, but for right now, either you've dropped this person or they've dropped you. Okay, but I feel it's them who's dropped you, but take it how it resonates. Um, what action will you take? towards this person okay but the ace of swords and the six of swords here i definitely do see you as wanting to move towards this person here, okay with clarity i feel you're going to communicate with this person and very very clearly okay with the i feel you want success you want a breakthrough because it looks like there is no communication between you guys but yeah you looks like you're wanting, wanting to move towards this person okay and get out of karma waters but you want to move towards this person with a more smoother communication better clarity and you want to move um uh, get out of any kind of rocky waters or get any kind of conflict. You want to get out of that conflict and move towards this person, okay? And you're very sure about it, all right? You want the success with this person here. But when it comes to this connection, for right now, I think you're very, very focused on your money, okay? On your goals right now. What action does this person to take when it comes towards you? It's the Eight of Cups and the Lovers in Reverse here. So clearly this is someone here, okay, who wanted a deeper commitment with you, okay, but right now they feel very disconnected, okay. There's been a fallout between, between you and this person here, a breakup, separation, could be a divorce, you know, ending of a marriage, ending of a soulmate contract here, but this person is choosing to walk away, okay, because they're not receiving that emotional fulfillment from you, okay. They're leaving this relationship and ready to emotionally detach from you, walking away from you for the moment because with the lovers in reverse here, I feel this person's emotional needs are not being met okay their desires are not being met here okay and you guys are just not on the same page so they're rather choosing to walk away whilst you are choosing to move towards them okay i feel it's across what you're reading taurus i think this is your side and this is the person you're dealing with take it how it resonates all right <clears throat> uh let's see um how do you view them so taurus you view them as the king of swords in reverse and the hermit here so if you, you view this person as someone being very cold, very detached, very icy, someone who's giving you the cold shoulder, but at the same time, someone who's just cut communication with you, okay? No wonder you want to talk to them, okay, with Ace of Swords here. You're like, dude, I'm going to talk. You're hell-bent on getting this breakthrough with them, okay? 
uh, although your focus is yourself, okay, with the money here, etc., you are single, you're on your own, but still, you want this communication with this person because you feel probably this person is ignoring the communication, you know, cutting you off. It's becoming very difficult for you, you to communicate with them because with a, with a helmet here, I feel this person is very withdrawn, okay? That's how you view them as very withdrawn, very isolated, okay? This person's gone within themselves in their cocoon and they refuse to come out, okay? So this is like a strong, silent treatment that they're giving you. That's how you view them, okay? They refuse to talk to you that's how you view them and that's why you feel the need to work to talk to them how this person views you we have the four of cups with the king of wands here this person definitely knows that you have a lot of passion for them okay they know you want them and they know that you're they're the only ones that you want they're very confident okay that you're zoned in on them but with the four of cups here they feel that you fear rejection Okay, so it's almost like either they feel that you are not ready to accept an offer or give an offer or they feel that you want to take action towards them, but you fear rejection. Okay, and there's a lot of stagnancy uh, within this connection here. To me, it looks like definitely like they know that you want them, you're passionate about them, okay? You're wanting to be that go-getter, that masculine energy, you know, who gets up and gets things done, okay? So they know that for sure, that that's how you want them. But with the Four of Cups here, I think they they feel you're just very upset right now, crying over spilt milk, probably very focused on what happened in the past, or you just fear rejection, okay? Because this person definitely knows that this is what they feel. That if you come towards them, they feel that you're scared that, you know, uh, they will shut you off, you know, or they will reject you. That's how they view you. So, Taurus, if this is your side, this is how you view them, okay? You pr pretty much know, Taurus, that this person wants to come towards you, okay? They want to take action, but they're just scared that you'll shut them off, okay? All right. What is uh, the blockage or the challenge out here? The four of wands of the Hierophant here. Clearly marriage, commitment, long-term, stability, security, Okay. With the four of wands and the hierophant here, there is someone here, one of you, who is not on the same page. Alright? The person on this side here looks like to me, if you're on this side here, this definitely looks to me like the someone who always wanted commitment, who wanted marriage long term. Okay? And the person, if you were on this side, this is someone, you know, who did not want that. Okay? They were very focused on their pentacles, their earthly matters, you know, their own uh, materialistic ways. Okay? Finally, someone was dropped and whoever was dropped was someone who was not opening up, okay, who was not revealing the truth and what they really wanted in the relationship, right? And that's why this person's walking away because there was lack of commitment, there was a lack of stability, there was a lack of harmony within the situation. Maybe someone wanted public recognition and the other person was just not on the same page. I feel this person, the person on this side here wanted something more traditional whilst the person on this side was someone who just wanted uh, to be single, play single all this while, okay, or they were just... Like I'm saying, I keep saying it, but I'm just getting this. The person on this side is just focused on themselves, okay? Not like overly focused, but someone who's just, money is more important to them than an emotional relationship or than a relationship, okay? I'm getting this person was not ready, the one on this side. They were just not ready. But now that this person's walking away, right? There's someone here who's walking towards them, like to stop them, like don't, don't go, you know? But the lovers in reverse here, I also get this person as someone, you know, who wanted an emotional commitment, a deeper commitment here. But they're choosing to make a, um, you know, a decision which is going to break their heart, which is not the best for them, higher, for, their, for their higher selves. But they just have to walk away because they don't have a choice. Okay. All right. What is the most likely immediate future? Okay. The immediate future of this connection is the three of swords with the, with the strength here. No one's talking. No one's talking, which is causing a lot of heartbreak out here, okay? Now, this can go two ways, with the three of swords and the strength here. Either there is someone here, okay, who is wanting to confront the situation. Either when you communicate with this person here, this person is going to give you a very cold shoulder. They're still going to hold back. They're going to withdraw themselves. They're not going to open up emotionally, which is going to cause a lot of heartbreak out here. Or... I feel that no one's going to talk out here, okay? No one's opening up. You and your actions, you're definitely going to make a move towards them, okay? So I feel that's what's going to happen. You're going to be uh, feeling very uh, rejected by this person, exactly how this person views you, okay? Because something's causing a lot of heartache, heartache, pain out here, okay? Because of which with the strength here, there's a lot of resistance and holding back. So yeah, Taurus. If you're wanting to approach this person here, looks like there is going to be a lot of resistance from this person here, person here, okay? So I feel that if you really want this person here with the Ace of Swords here and the Six of Swords, you're on the right way. 
keep being very persistent okay persistence is the key if you're not going to be persistent with this person this person might reject you a couple of times okay but they do have a lot of love for you all right they're choosing to walk away but that's very temporarily okay they're choosing to disconnect emotionally but they're not ending things okay because they've dropped you because you haven't opened up emotionally but if you give this person what they need or if you give this relationship what they need which is commitment something long term there are chances you guys would get back okay so for right now that's what i have for you taurus i hope this reading resonates with you do leave your comments below if this resonates with you like share subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye